Here are the latest leaks for the upcoming Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, and oh boy, are they good! We got some Cinebench results for the top Ryzen 9 7950X processor. The CPU scores an average of 36,000 points, which is about 30% faster than the previous 5950X. However, it does so at 240 watts, where it's able to reach 96 degrees Celsius even on a 360 millimeter AIO water cooler. And Intel's top upcoming CPU is able to reach over 40,000 points, but at 340 watts. However, interestingly enough, it can also reach about 35,000 points when locked down to 240 watts. Also, I have to ask, why are you not part of the daily tech news community? I mean, we've got so many tech news and and cookies. These are just leaks and some of these CPUs are classified as prototypes, so take these results with a grain of corn. Another thing that I have to say, which is totally irrelevant, is just how cool the new CPUs look. Like, I, I really love this new uh, design from AMD. Obviously, these are larger processors as well. You know, they have more pins because uh, uh, the new PCIe Gen 5 and such things, they just require more bandwidth and various things like that. Plus, it sort of future proofs their sockets so they can fit in more cores, uh, fit in higher speeds and so on. So the 7950X looking pretty good. Should be even $100 less than the 5950X. So that is pretty good. You know, I really don't have a problem with... Uh, AMD's uh, 7000 series top-end lineup, you know, the Ryzen 9s, I think, are going to be uh, pretty good, pretty competitive, y you know, obviously very good processors. However, the Ryzen 5 and the Ryzen 7 at $300 and $400 for 6 cores and for 8 cores, I think they're really going to struggle, you know, I think uh, they're still going to sell well because in some benchmarks on fresh installs of Windows and stuff like that, uh, they're still going to be able to outperform Intel CPUs. However, the Intel CPUs with those extra cores, with that higher multi-threaded performance, uh, should be a lot better uh, in uh, as, as the years go on. You know, as you fill up your Windows install more and more, as Windows is doing more and more things in the background where you're while you're playing games, for instance, when you have uh, VPNs, game downloads, backup software, all of that stuff running, that is where those extra cores are really going to shine. Uh, you know, but... Of course, uh, a lot of people will never sort of see that. They will just look at the direct FPS score for a few benchmarks and be like, oh, it obviously has to be a better uh, CPU. Interestingly, the 7950X is running at 240 watts. So uh, this, 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 this actually becomes sort of a problem to cool. My uh, 10850K used to run at like 205 watts and my Corsair... 240 millimeter all-in-one liquid cooler was was not enough you know if, if i was actually rendering something out it would actually throttle um my 5900x uh ryzen 9 cpu that that thing is totally fine that thing caps out at i think like 150 watts might be 180 i'm not exactly sure but that thing is totally fine and cool uh, but it looks like AMT was just like, yeah, screw it. You know, Intel is pushing all of this wattage into their CPUs and getting a little bit of extra performance over us. Let's just do the same thing, I guess. Speaking of Intel, 13900K at 340 watts. Um, yeah, for 340 watts on a CPU, I mean you are gonna need an absolutely beast of a cooler you might even need like just custom water cooling loops for if you really want to effectively cool this thing you know especially if you're ever going to be doing something very intensive like rendering in a non-air conditioned room you know you sort of want some leeway with that so that's a pretty crazy wattage however it doesn't drop off that much in terms of the score when you literally give it a hundred watts less so it's very interesting how close Intel is actually able to get. I mean, they have a way worse process than AMD. They're still on 10 nanometer, which is more comparable to the TSMC 7 nanometer. That's kind of confusing. Uh, these uh, Ryzen CPUs are 5 nanometer TSMC process. Uh, but, you know, overall, uh, it's going to be a very exciting few weeks as these new cpus uh, come out we have gotten another great generational leap so everything is quite great you know and uh, i i am happy that intel and amd uh, really are putting their foot on the gas and really competing and innovating once again so quite great